Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome along to a wonderful Saturday morning in mid-March. I suppose we're approaching the end of March now, I guess. Not sure what date it is. The days still continue to blur into one another. But, as you can see down there, the weeping willow tree is beginning to burst its buds and leaves are coming onto the trees. So spring is definitely in the air and that means we need to get all of our jobs finished up as soon as possible so we can gear up to get the brewery back into full production mode and uh, welcome back customers into the pub and hopefully 2021 begin to see a little bit of a recovery from the current pandemic which is still dragging on over a year later so I'm here <clears throat> on a Saturday morning to uh, continue to prepare the flooring and whilst I would have preferred to have given the newly laid concrete a little bit more time to cure uh, time as they say waits for no man and uh, consequently no brewer therefore I need to get this flooring down as soon as possible so let's go into the brewery Let's finish off removing the old surface coating and hopefully today we'll get some of the two-part epoxy primer down on the floor and then tomorrow we'll be able to put the first top coat down just up at the top where the cask washer is because of course we're going to need to wash casks pretty soon and we're also going to need some space to move everything when we apply the similar coatings to the rest of the brewery. So. Hopefully it'll be cured by the time we get round to that. So let's uh, pick you up off of the still unfinished pier cap and say goodbye to the Chesterfield Canal briefly. And we'll go through the marquee, which still has all its sides on, simply because it makes it a nice, comfortable environment for us to do any tinkering in, if indeed we do need to tinker in here. And We'll go and open up the brewery and have a look where we left off. Oh, well while we're passing, any hops? I don't think those hops are going to thrive this year. Again, just a neglected bed I'm afraid. Right, here we go. Let's get into the brewery. Oh, wonderful. So it appears that our section here has gone off. It's not cured, but it's gone off to the touch, which is good. We're perhaps going to have to put a repair in here. In fact, we definitely are. So we'll mix up some of that epoxy repair concrete and drop that down today. That cures really quickly, apparently. So that is a good thing. And then there's just this centre section of red to buff up and then we'll be ready to move forwards with undercoat. Well that's the floor completely stripped and I've also filled these little spots and bits here and there with some epoxy resin. Every time that bloody cooler comes on, doesn't it? So this stuff, it's like sandcastle sand when it's laid. Um, here's one that I laid earlier on. Still a bit tacky, but a couple of hours and it starts to cure. It's meant to be as hard as a coffin nail when it's gone off. So I'm going to leave it until maybe four o'clock. Time is ticking on now, it's two five past two. Let's give it a couple of hours and then I'm going to come back. I'm just going to knock them back so they're nice and level and then we're going to put the first coat of primer on this top section and then we'll be back to lay two coats of paint tomorrow. So hopefully it dries quick enough. Well, I'm going to panic about this bit now. I'm going to start in that corner, paint round all these legs quickly 
and then quickly cut in around the edge and then start rolling by just tipping out the whole thing the trouble is I have to mix a full tin at a time and it goes off in the tin in 20 minutes and you've got 40 minutes working time so this is the stuff primer part A left-handed one-handed tin opening skills <laughs> how do you like them apples there it is looks like there's nothing in there doesn't it and then we've got epoxy primer part B so mm, God there is no time like the present I've got my mixing attachment on my drill let's do it oh god am I gonna need two hands no. there she goes well they like to cut it close don't they to the top to the tippy top I don't want to stand here too long draining what's left in the tub out simply because I know I'm eating into my curing time so before I mix it I'll just get out what I can just that little trickle see if I can help it along the way with a little bit of tabby tab but this video already this clip is two minutes long <laughs> so I know how far in we are? Right, 4.47 in the afternoon. This has to be out of the tin, realistically, by 5 o'clock. Right, I think that's that. I'm not going to film the mix in because I don't want to splash it everywhere. And we'll come back when it's been applied. Well, I can't go in for obvious reasons. I can't even reach the light from here because I've had to work my way out the door. I did panic in that corner thinking I didn't have enough to do the old thing and in the end I had enough to do the new bit of concrete on the edge as well as you can see and we've come all the way out and through the door so first coat of epoxy primer down tomorrow we'll be back to apply the first coat of high build epoxy top coat we'll friggin see you then boys <laughs> 